Hey everyone, it's Rose and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a huge book unhaul. I'm pretty sure I'm getting rid of 55 books, but I might have added some since I counted. I'm not completely sure, but I know it's over 50 because I have so many books on my shelves that either like I picked up from a charity shop in 2020 when I was getting back into reading and had no clue what my reading taste was. And now I know, I just know I'm never gonna read these books. Or there are some books that I've read, I hated them. Why do I have them on my shelves? Or there are some books I've read, maybe I rated them two stars, three stars. Didn't hate them, but I'm never gonna reread them. And they're not something I wanna show off on my shelves. And I just need more room for 2024. I know there are so many releases that I'm gonna wanna buy. Um, and I would just like my shelf to be full of books I love or I'm really excited to read. So we're going to get rid of some books that don't fit that. The first lot of books I'm going to show you are going to be books I have read. And I'll tell you why I'm getting rid of them. And then the second half is going to be books I haven't read. I don't really have a reason for a lot of them. They just don't interest me anymore. Uh, all of these books are, I'm going to let all my family look through them, pick any ones they want, and then the rest will go to charity shops. A lot of them came from charity shops in the first place. So I think it's quite cool that I picked them up from charity shops. They're going back so someone else can love them. First up, we have Snap by Belinda Bohr. I rated this three stars. This is a thriller. Um, it was nothing special. I've read so many thrillers, and while I enjoyed this one, I'm never gonna reread it. And we have Lisa Jules Before I Met You, which I DNF'd at page 400 and something. Like, imagine how much I must have hated it to be 400 pages in and still not be able to get through the end. I rated this one star. Absolutely hated it. I love Lisa Jules writing in her other books, don't want this anywhere on my shelves. I want to pretend it doesn't exist. Bad Seed by Jessica Eames. This is another thriller. I read it in 2020. I think I rated it three stars and I haven't thought about it since. I couldn't tell you what it was about. All I know is I have no interest in rereading it. The Liar's Daughter by Claire Allen. I literally know so little that I thought these two were the same books. Right. I read this in 2020, rated it three stars as well, and I have no interest in rereading it. Um, just got it mixed up with Bad Seed. So that's just another thriller that got me back into reading to some degree, but I never want to reread it again. There are so many more books that got me back into reading that I loved and would reread and want on my shelves, so I'll keep them instead. Next up we have Mouth to Mouth by Anthony Wilson. This was so kindly sent to me by, was it Walker Books? No, it's Atlantic Books. I unfortunately rated this 2.5 stars. Um, I really didn't enjoy it, but I think my granddad's gonna love this, so I'm fine with giving it away. Weather Crawl Dad Sing by Delia Owens. I read this, I rated this three stars, but I think I was being generous. This book is so boring. I have no interest in ever rereading it. And also the things surrounding this author are absolutely insane. Next up we have The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. At the time I read this, I rated it five stars, but I don't really know what I was on because this book, it's very clear that the author normally write self-help books and it spreads a lovely message but it just felt like you know th this is for a very particular person that maybe needs this and maybe I needed it when I read it but I don't need it anymore and I'm never gonna reread it. Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. I know a lot of people love this. I think I rated it one star. I hated it. Um, I think it was very fat phobic from what I remember. So we're getting rid of it. Oh, somebody gave this heart a pen by Sophia Thanker. This was so kindly sent to me by Walker Books YA. Uh, this is a poetry book, which I think I enjoyed, but I don't like poetry. I'm never gonna reread it. This is another one that I'm pretty sure my granddad will love. So I know it's gonna go to a good home. Sorry to Walker Books. And we have The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawana. I rated this three stars when I read it. I think I read it in 2021. Um, it was okay, it was good, it was enjoyable. I'm just never gonna reread it. Some of these, they're good books. They're just not books that I would reread and I wanna, I wanna just cleanse my shelves. Next up, a recent read, we have Dating Dr. Dill by Nisa Sharma. I rated this two stars. I didn't like the main guy at all and I'm never gonna reread it. I need to stop saying never gonna reread it because I'm never gonna reread any of these. That's the whole reason I'm getting rid of them. Okay, let's speed things up. Falling Hard for the Royal Card by Megan Clawson, rated it two stars. I didn't like any of the humor. I found it cringy, not funny. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I think I rated this three stars. Um, it's just not for me. I was, it was just quite, it's not the type of fantasy I love and I'm not gonna continue with the series. It came from a charity shop and it will be going back to one. 
Then we have The Perfect Holiday by T.J. Emerson, which was sent to me by Baldwin Books. Sorry, Baldwin Books. I rated this 1.5 stars. Really did not like it. Another one I think my granddad might like, though. Then we have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two. I'm pretty sure I read this whenever it came out. How to Kill Your Family by Becca Mackey. This is a one star read. I hated every part of it. I think the woman hated other women and I just didn't like the humour that was trying so hard to be funny and just so wasn't. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I have a few John Green books on here which I read and liked at the time but they're not for me anymore. Graceling by Kristen Cashaw. Rated this one star. I was so bored. Uh, the only reason I got through it is because this has been on my TBR since 2020 and I was determined to finish it. I really just shouldn't have never gonna continue with this series it's going on the pile station 11 by emily st john mandel i rated this three stars at the time i enjoyed it never gonna reread it another john green book looking for alaska again i like his books i'm never gonna read them again oh we have another jennifer Naven book all the bright places this one i'm not getting rid of it because i hated it like holding up the universe i i can't mentally ever reread this book i didn't even mentally finish it i skimmed because i knew where it was going and i was right and i'm not putting myself through that pain we're just not doing it we have the maze runner series um i didn't read these when they were really big back in the divergent and hunger games time i was a hunger games girly but i was not a divergent or maze runner series girly so these books don't have any sentimental value to me like you do for a lot of other people so i read them recently i think last year liked them never gonna reread them you know, I could always watch the films if I wanted to. I just don't have any interest in them in the way that it's so sentimental to so many other people. We have the Ember Quartet, the Ember and the Ashes series by Sabah Tahir. I have a reading vlog for these posted on my channel. It's one of the first videos I ever did on this YouTube channel. Um, at the time I enjoyed them, but the more I think about it, the more confusing they got. That it's too confusing for me to ever want to reread. Um, and this is like a lovely set of books, so I think it could go to a lovely home. Right, I'm pretty sure those are all the books I have read. Let's move on to the ones I'm getting rid of. And again, I don't really have reasons for these. They're either books I know I'm going to hate, or they're books from authors I've read from before and don't like. Or I just never going to get to them anytime soon. I don't really have reasons for these ones. Life Expectancy by Dean Koontz. My granddad loves this author. I'm gonna give it back to him. I think I bought it for him originally, to be honest with you. The Understudy by B.A. Paris, Claire McIntosh, Holly Brown, and Sophie Hanna. This has been on my TBR since 2020 because I just picked it up from the works when I wanted to read anything and everything. I've had no interest in it since. Cat Lady by Dawn O'Porter. I picked this up, like, recently because it was 50p at a bookshop it was like two for a pound at a charity shop and i just wanted to get another one i saw it on tiktok and then i read the back and realized it's not for me i'm not a cat lady i'm a dog lady the mallory blackman series checkmate double cross noughts and crosses and knife edge okay these are definitely out of order um i read this series in secondary school well i read the first couple in school and i was like i need these they were so good at the time but um yeah, I'm not in school anymore. I haven't been for a while. So I'm going to leave them in the past. Panic Room by Robert Goddard. Again, picked this up in 2020 from a charity shop. I just, I have so many more thrillers that I'm going to love. I don't need to keep all of the ones I picked up four years ago. Death Right by Kerry Watts. Same. I think this is more of a, yeah, this is a crime novel. I don't like crime novels. I don't like when we just follow like a policeman. I don't like the crime bit of thrillers. I like the thriller bit of thrillers, if that makes sense. I have the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. Um, I don't know. I don't even have all of them in order. I picked them all up from charity shops years ago and I realized they're just not something I have any interest in. We have some Anna Jacobs books that my nan gave to me. I'm pretty sure they were meant for my mum though. So I'm gonna go in the next room and give these to her after this video we have. A Valley Wedding, A Dream Valley, and A Valley Secrets. So I'm assuming that's a trilogy. This is another copy of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. We have Family by Owen Mullen. I don't know. It's a thriller I picked up from the works and like when it was three for five pounds. A lot of these are that and I just have no interest in it. It was probably a third book that I felt I had to pick up to get the deal. But yeah, we have another one here. The Housemate by Nina Manning. I read so many books called The Housemate. 
I think I thought this was a different one. So it's going back on the pile. Also, I hate covers like that. Seven Lies by Elizabeth K. She tells you everything except the truth. I actually think I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> so we're putting that one on my bed. We have Home by Claire McIntosh. Had this on my TBR since 2020. I've had a book for years and have no interest in picking it up. There's a reason, I just need to let go. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I tried to read this, I really couldn't. I'd heard good things about Rainbow Rowell, but I realized it was more nostalgia than like good things. And I don't have the nostalgia from him because I never read the books. We have Before I Fall by Lauren Olivia. Don't know why I picked this up. I watched the movie years ago and didn't really love it. So I don't know why I thought I'd like the book, but it's, it's going again. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. My mum watched this series and loved it, which is why I picked this up. I'm gonna give this back to her because it's more her thing than mine. The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield, picked up in 2020. Probably gonna give it to my mum because I think she'll probably like it more than me. My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfeg. Um, saw this on TikTok, picked it up from a charity shop. Realized this is not my thing. Just because it's on TikTok doesn't mean I'm gonna like it. And then we have Ten Steps to Nanette by Hannah Gatsby. This is a memoir. Um, I This was sent to me by Alan and Unwin. Who is that? Atlantic Books. Thank you to Atlantic Books. Um, I haven't actually read this, which I know sounds really bad because I was sent it and I haven't read it. However, my mum read it. Um, she didn't like it. She couldn't get through it. Gonna give it to my granddad to see if he'll like it. I'm gonna tell him not to get rid of it, even if he doesn't like it, because it was sent to me. I just don't think I'm ever, like at the time it seemed great, but from what I've heard from people who have read it, I don't think I can push through it. And that is everything um, that I'm getting rid of. Going through that pile, I have one that I'm keeping and I managed to not tell myself to keep any of them, so I'm very proud of myself. I'm gonna go drop them off at my granddad's now so that I have no chance to change my mind um let me know let me know what books i should buy to make up for the ones i've got rid of off my shelf uh because i have a problem with books they're taking over my bedroom but that's all for this video there's probably going to be quite a lot of book hauls coming in 2024 because i have no self-control when it comes to books but I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you'd like to see more from me, please be sure to like and subscribe as I post new videos every single week. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in another video. Bye!